yeah good morning sir topic is airless tires sir yes uh, sir uh, the content which are included in this uh, presentation or uh, what are the pneumatic tires and uh, the drawbacks uh, like what is airless tires how it works the design different design approaches uh, created for uh, airless tires and advantages and disadvantages of uh, using airless tires and applications where it is used sir uh sir first uh, let us give the pneumatic tires sir sir uh, pneumatic tires are uh, which we uh, see every day in our, in our daily life sir like we use for it uh, for our motor bikes or uh, automotive such as uh, cars and bulldozers whatever so uh, we use a pneumatic tire sir so uh, sir uh, the pneumatic tire works with a uh, air pressure which is like uh, the high air pressure uh, the air pressure will be high when compared to the atmospheric pressure and uh, and the tire will be running or uh, like uh, with a air pressure in built air pressure sir so the main drawbacks for this uh, like using the pneumatic uh, tires sir uh, it, it gets a puncture sir like whenever it hits a hard substance uh, such as a nail or some other sharp things uh, it can blow out if, uh, if a car goes or if a vehicle goes at a higher speed uh, there is a problem of bursting out and uh, there is a problem of getting a vehicle turned over so like so that the passengers in the vehicle may get problems and uh, variation in the pressure of the uh, tire will be a uh, problematic sir like if the pressure of, of the tire uh, air pressure in the tire gets decreased the efficiency of the vehicle will also decrease sir and uh, due to that uh, like there are the different drawbacks uh, for this uh, tire sir so to overcome all this uh, tire we are uh, airless tires are invented sir uh, the first uh, airless tire was invented uh, like developed in 2005 sir by michel uh, like it was uh, named as well uh, named after tire and a wheel uh, as a combination of tire and a wheel uh, so as we can see uh, like airless tire uh, so this is the model of a airless tire sir uh, which don't need any air pressure and which don't need a uh, uh, like any uh, a complete form so that uh, it, it gets a puncture or blow out, uh, blow out problems uh, sir uh, like nowadays it's it's uh, used in a very small vehicle sir uh, because it uh, uh, like it is not officially confirmed for all the vehicles to use the uh, airless tire sir and it is also a cost uh, like cost is very high so that uh, not all companies are accepting the airless tires and uh, the main uh, use of using airless tire is sir uh, uh, we don't get any problems after installing the airless tire for a vehicle sir so as you can see this is a design of a airless tire sir uh, the outer part is uh, like uh, the bands the rubber module thread and uh, the three mentioned which is the three it is uh, these are the design sir as we can see in this uh, the uh, these these are the uh, like uh, design of the sir, which also works as a shock absorber sir uh like we do uh, and uh, due to no air in, present in the uh, tires we, uh, this these uh, uh, like this design will uh, help as a air like uh, to uh, say or uh, to save the tire sir and uh, this will be the hub and uh, this will be the hub and uh, this, this will be the fixing of a uh, uh, axle to like uh, we will fix uh, for, from this fourth position we fix it to the rod or axle sir and sir uh, this is uh, this thread as i said earlier this thread is a flexible thread sir due to this uh, whenever it hits uh, uh, like whenever it gets a sudden shocks uh, the thread also acts as a shock absorber and uh, it takes the sh uh, shocking pressure sir and sir in this thread uh, in this picture we can see that uh, how a uh, deformation like how it is uh, taking the sh uh, sudden shocks of the it is a live picture sir Uh, sir uh, these are the different uh, design approaches uh, developed by uh, different uh, companies sir uh, this is the developed by nasa and uh, michel this was the first uh, sir as you can see this was the first uh, airless tire developed in 2005 uh, and this is a bridgestone developed uh, this the, the though all uh, designs comes of, like comes to the same group but some the the company changes from design to design uh, some design uh, are more effective uh, while compared to other designs sir sir uh, this will be the uh, this is uh, this can be the futuristic design uh, so that the, it takes all the problems and no problem will be occurred for using the airless tires and uh, for this the more uh, like 
uh, more number of designs uh, from axial to the tire and more number of uh, threads are added sir so that uh, we, we don't get any problem and uh, for the uh, like material used in this uh, tire will be mostly recyclable sir uh, 95% it will be recyclable so that uh, we don't get any problem for the, uh, for the environment sir when we look into the advantages of uh, airless tires uh, there will be no uh, air leaks or uh, tire blowout sir because we don't use any air pressure in it and uh, no maintenance is required sir when we uh, see for a uh, air like pneumatic tire uh, we can uh, see that uh, uh, there will be a pressure uh, uh, range that sh- that need to be maintained every time and uh, then uh, they need to be check up all the time for the tubes or tube whatever we need to check all the time and even for the punches or blowouts we need to look over them and uh, there will be a recycle uh, for this uh, the recycling is so easy sir uh, as I, as it was said earlier 95% of the material can be recycled and it is economically friendly uh, as it can be recycled and uh, most of the damages cannot be uh, seen in airless tires sir uh which we can see or uh, which we which are found in pneumatic tires and uh that uh, durability and uh, life will be long lasting when compared to the pneumatic tires which we use in our daily life and uh it uh it won't get any explosion sir uh, when coming to pneumatic tires uh, when it moves in a high speeds uh even if a sharp object uh, like if you see in f1 car racing or uh, some other cars uh even if a sharp object enter it we can see the high like uh uh explosions of the wires and it has uh, less environmental impact sir. so that uh, as it was uh, mostly recyclable we don't get any environmental impact for it sir uh, and uh, disadvantage while we look into the airless uh, lack of adjustment sir like when we see into pneumatic tires we can, uh, it, it it can be mostly adjustable we can adjust it to any other vehicles but uh, while coming to airless tires, lack of adjustment as it was developing it is a developing content we cannot adjust uh, uh, the airless tires right away and the vibration up to now till now the uh, while the airless tires are used there's a lot of vibration uh, which the scientists and the uh, like they are working to reduce the vibration and there are different manufacturing techniques sir as the different uh, companies offer different types of designs and different types of techniques there are different manufacturing techniques uh, techniques though every uh, everything comes under the same roof but there are different manufacturing techniques sir that may vary when applied on a practical world with a vehicle sir um not as economic as the uh, pneumatic tires sir so when we look into pneumatic tires uh, it comes out a low cost but though the maintenance is uh, high but we can see that uh, uh, the initial cost will be low sir but whereas the airless tires we don't have any uh, maintenance cost but the initial cost will be very high when compared to the pneumatic tires sir and uh, these are the applications sir like applications are, are same as the pneumatic tires we can use in a uh, in, in a, a place of the pneumatic tires we can use the uh, airless tires sir uh, which are also called as non pneumatic tires and uh, it is nobody like uh, in a practical world uh, uh, like in, in present world uh, it is also used in military vehicles terrain automotive such as cars and uh, heavy vehicles like bulldozers they are using it sir and racing cars and uh, uh, land long movers so we, you can see the pictures of a golf coat uh, Uh, cars and uh, on the right you can uh, you can see the bulldozer using a airless tires uh, so sir uh, by using this airless tires uh, for the bulldozers or heavy vehicles uh, like small bulldozers they don't get any problem in the construction site or uh, where the, the clearing area so that uh, the soil or else the material over there will be so different uh, like uh, different and uh, if we don't we will have uh, many problems and we use pneumatic tires by using this uh, airless tires we, we don't get the, uh, those problems and the puncture and the blow up problems and uh, my conclusion is sir nowadays uh, no improvements are uh, done in pneumatic tires sir uh, as we can see that uh, the tires are same though the outer design may be changed that uh, the tires can be seen same sir manufacturer uh, manufacturers are now focusing more on airless tires as though it comes with high eco- or like uh, high initial cost they don't need any maintenance and uh, any maintenance and it lasts for a long time sir uh, and they are concentrating more to decrease the vibrations which were caused right now in the vehicles and also uh, making it to get an eco- uh, economically safe sir like uh, for the in a best manner and uh, i can see that airless tires will be the future tires thank you sir Rolling.
falling resistance will be uh, uh, like if uh, present it is low sir if, if it can be developed in a different manner it, it is getting higher sir like uh, when from the starting now it is very higher sir and uh, suspension is lesser uh, when compared to pneumatic tire sir it can be used for both sir but uh, heavy vehicles uh, like like uh, light vehicles can be used more sir but heavy vehicles we do get some problems with the suspension thing sir uh sir uh, we use uh, rubber and uh, plastic sir solid plastic uh, 